Mark Blundell, thank you so much for talking to the FTA today. Much appreciated. Uh, with your work through MB Partners, it is very much about engaging with young people and working with them, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we're very lucky. We work in the, uh, the sports arena, uh, but at the same time, we have our, our stars. But part of MBP's uh, DNA is to nurture young talent. You know, and for us, that's all about youngsters in life, their understanding of what the future is going to hold, what the effort is they put in as a youngster to try and, you know, get some longevity in a career. And uh, that's also part of what we look at. You know, there is not an end goal. Maybe that's because of injury or something just doesn't go according to plan. Let's hope them, you know, hope that they can then diversify into another sector of work. You know from experience, Mark, that a lot of people aspire perhaps to be the next CEO of a multi-million pound organisation, but obviously it isn't that easy. It's very much about hard work, isn't it, and getting your hands dirty. It's hard work. It's uh, trying to you know, implement those skill sets that you've got an ability of, uh, of doing well. Uh, at the same time, I think it's about learning from other people. Um, you know, there's a lot of advice out there that's cost efficient because nine times out of ten doesn't cost anything. But, you know, apprenticeships, whether they be in a, a career inside in an office environment or outside in engineering or if you go into the world of sport or finance, it's, it's a massive thing. And I, and I think, you know, for us, even as a country, we need to do more of that. And, you know, I can see that there's a lot of people out there in small industry, small business that are trying to implement it. You know, apprenticeship and, and learning is uh, one of the biggest things in life. For the freight and logistics industry, there's a huge skills gap as far as technicians and engineers are concerned, and they're vitally important to obviously the work that we do, but also essential, I'm guessing, for your role as well, isn't it? Massive in our job because, you know, we're only as good as the car we drive. Um, that's been designed and engineered by some very clever people. At the same time, you know, let's not take away from the fact that they were probably, uh, you know, getting the car delivered to the race circuit by a truck which has also been designed and engineered by some clever people and um, you know also driven by uh, an experience and uh, expertise guy in, in the haulage sector so you know there, there's there's areas all around that get touched upon um, but you know we need to make sure that we keep driving through our, our engineers and design guys and you know it starts from the bottom and works the way up. Mark dare I say that actually motor racing is a pretty sexy industry sadly transport logistics freight not perhaps so appealing. How would you suggest that we change the image of the industry and actually the perception that people have of freight and logistics as a whole? Well, I think people have to change the, their own outlook in, in many ways. I mean, you know, for me, it's, you know, I didn't start driving Formula One cars. I started actually uh, working on a, on a building site and labouring, you know, so I, I've done several sort of bits and pieces of work before I got to a, a point of being a professional racing driver. So, you know, for me, it's about getting up and having some level of uh, aspiration. Yes, it's about having some drive, but it's about enjoying it. And, you know, I, I think that's maybe down to some of the environment. You know, some workplaces I feel maybe could give a little bit more back. Uh, we try to create a nice working environment. We try to, uh, you know, enjoy the time that we have with our employees uh, and with the people that we sort of look after and, you know, manage, for example. But... You know, it is a two-way thing, but it has to start from you. You've, you've got to want to do it. The FTA Skills Summit is very much about attracting people into the industry, recruiting, training and retaining, but that's easier said than done. Can you suggest how you actually do retain people into the post that you originally employ them? I just think it's a two-way situation. It's a two-way thing on understanding the aspirations of the people that you're employing. Um, it's also taken on board that they may not be with you forever. We've encountered it on numerous occasions now. Maybe the point of actually planning that, yes, we understand that you might want to move on, um, but let us help you to get as much knowledge as possible in the space of time that you're looking at. And at the same time, can we get the benefit of you being a top employee for us? And let's enjoy the journey, and we wish you the best of luck when you do move on. But, you know, hopefully you won't, but at the same time, we understand you will. So it is all about working together, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Working together is the main uh, the main point of it. And and as, you know, Monday morning should be a, a smile on the boss's face and a smile on the employee's face as well. And hopefully Friday afternoon it's the same. So you know that's the aim of the game. Mark Blundell, thank you very much for your time today.